There have been a lot of goofy My Hero Academia controversies floating around lately, but this one actually has some substance, so let's talk about it. Hey, it's Charles. Today, we are going to run through the controversy surrounding a particular My Hero Academia character's name, the apology issued by the author, the backlash to that, a breakdown of the arguments, my take on everything, and some closing comments on what this means for the future of the series. And of course, we'll be keeping the positive vibes turned on because there's enough hate being spewed around on this particular issue. Essentially, in chapter 259 of My Hero Academia, which was released on February 2nd, I believe, in Japan, the real name of the evil Dr. Ujiko was revealed, and his name, as it turns out, is Maruta Shiga. Or at least, it was Maruta Shiga. It has since been changed. Anyways, the name Maruta itself is comprised of two kanji. One means round, maru, and one means fat, ta. This seems to fit with the doctor's appearance, but there are some other connotations around this name that got a lot of particularly Chinese and Korean fans rather upset. You see, there was this period in Japanese history where the country attempted to expand into neighboring areas and did some really terrible things, as a lot of countries on the warpath tend to do. Among a number of issues that remain really sticky points between Japan and neighboring countries, at that time there was some pretty dark things like human experimentation going on with captured criminals, anti-Japanese, homeless, prisoners of war, and other people who happened to be living in the countries that were invaded. And so readers from these areas were pretty to discover apparent linkages between Dr. Maruta Shiga's name and a Japanese World War II era project that involved lethal experimentation on a large number of people in order to develop biological weapons and so on. Codenamed Project Maruta. The thing about these two kanji characters, round and fat, is when you put them together, they also spell out a word that reads as log. And in this Project Maruta, the terrible human experimentation project that was conducted during World War II, prisoners that were being used as subjects for experimentation were referred to, apparently, as Maruta, logs. And just like logs, after their usefulness as subjects had worn out, they were even incinerated. It's a horror story from a very shocking time in history in which atrocities were committed by a number of different countries. But even today, it is very shocking, and while this is definitely not for the weak of stomach, if you are inclined to do so, you can read all about it on Google. Please do so if you want to have a very sobering experience, and please do not do so if you are adverse to seeing some pretty messed up stuff. Anyways, fans around the world, particularly Chinese and Korean fans, were really furious about what they perceived as a rather clear allusion to those horrific crimes of the past, and they were quick to go on the attack, and as the rage burned out of control, Kohei, Horikoshi, and Shonen Jump itself actually issued apologies. On February 3rd, Hirokoshi took to Twitter and said this, Many people have noted that the character name Shiga Maruta in this week's Jump chapter has stirred up memories of acts from the past. I did not intend to make such an association with that name. I'm taking this matter very seriously and I will alter the name. And he later added a bit more explanation, stating that the character took the first part of All For One's last name, Shigaraki, and made it his own, Shiga, and that he had added the name Maruta to the character because it simply was to represent how he is round and fat, and that there was seriously no intention to connect it to any kind of terrible act from the past, and that any other meaning was pure coincidence. Shonen Jump also issued their apology. It's been noted that in the most recent my Hero Academia chapter that the character Maruta's name called back memories of past historical facts. This was not intended by either the author or the editorial department. However, as we do not intend to mix works with unrelated historical facts, after consulting with the creator, we have determined to change the name for chapters in future volumes. So I personally thought that these responses were quite suitable and certainly would not require further action from either Kohei Horikoshi or Shonen Jump since they have not only acknowledged the issue but also taken measures to actually change the character's name, which was, after all, the apparent source of this outrage. But of course, when you apologize on the internet, it usually means someone's gonna come in and just drop an elbow on your face, and that's exactly what happened here. Since the initial outcry and the subsequent apologies, the author Hirokoshi has been under heavy fire on Twitter. In China, the manga has been removed from the Tencent and Bilibili's media distribution platforms in accordance with Chinese policies. All four seasons of the anime were also pulled from Bilibili, an online My Hero Academia game that was in development in China was cancelled. People have been phoning and emailing Shonen Jump to rage about the name. People are digging up other supposed historical references in the manga, like Katsuki Bakugo's 
sharing a birthday with Hitler. 420 has other connotations, which are being left alone here. And fans even started posting pictures and videos on Twitter of them destroying or throwing out their manga, because why not uh, get some Twitter retweets and likes while you're at it. And of course, people are also bombing My Hero Academia on review sites. What a mess. Although it must be mentioned that there are also a number of people coming out to go to bat for Hirokoshi, particularly making use of a hashtag titled We Support You Hirokoshi, which was started up by the YouTuber Chibi Reviews. At the end of the day though, it's been a pretty ugly experience for the creator, for the fandom, and for pretty much everyone involved. And fans around the world are debating this. And I think they can be roughly divided into three groups. First off, you have most people, people who believe that yeah, maybe he messed up, but he made a good gesture by apologizing and that we should just accept it and move on. I get the sense that most people fall into this category and it seems like a pretty reasonable middle ground. Then we have the haters, the haters who refuse to accept his apology and are expecting him to, I honestly don't really know, grovel to them. These are the people who are whining online, barraging Horikoshi with hateful messages, bombing the rating sites, destroying their comics. And of course, there are people who are actually legitimately offended by the original character name, mostly Chinese and Korean fans. But there are definitely a lot of people just hopping on the bandwagon to pull in some attention, it would seem. And whether the outrage of the people who are outraged by the original name is reasonable or unreasonable, I'm not gonna dig into that sack of potatoes. I will leave that up to you and your judgment. But I will say that I think things have blown up certainly a lot more than they needed to. So we have the middle ground, the haters, and lastly, we have the staunch supporters. Supporters that basically deny that he should have ever apologized to begin with because that just opens you up to getting pummeled and dogpiled on and encourages this kind of behavior in the future. These supporters certainly may have a fair point here, but of course, there's also a faction of supporters doing all kinds of mental acrobatics to try and distance Maruta's name from the supposed reference, and it's a little bit ridiculous, really. Personally, I would say that there are probably some merits to each group's sentiments, but my take on the matter is this. I thought that Horikoshi's statement was a perfectly fine acknowledgement that he defended some people, that he regretted it, and that he was taking action to amend the manga to appease these fans. However, I do have some trouble taking the second part of his statement that the reference was completely unintended as anything but utter baloney coming from a guy who takes so much care in naming the characters in his series. I'm not saying that it was for sure a reference to the Maruta project, but it really seems like it probably was. But if we do assume that that reference was intentional, then we also need to consider what the intent of that reference was. And so the big question is, was his intention to offend a large portion of the My Hero Academia fan base? And the answer is, of course it was not. The way I see it, he was probably in the creative zone, saw the parallels between the evil doctor and the evil doctors and the terrible project and the terrible project, human experiments, and thought that the sinister connotations that were attached to that name would fit with the terrible nature of the character. And so he likely rolled with the name Maruta, not just because it fits with his physical appearance of being round and fat, but also because the name would fit with his terrible nature without having any idea that people would be so offended and just flip out like this. I mean, in the same way that birth dates of many of the characters in the series seem to line up with those of very nefarious characters from the past, it hardly means that he endorses any of those figures or any of the terrible actions that were carried out in the past. They're just clever or not so clever illusions and nothing more, in my opinion. And while the Maruta reference, if we assume that it was a reference, dived into a fairly sensitive period of history, given that he actually issued a statement acknowledging this and changing the name, it's kind of weird that people are just continuing to berate him for it. And bear in mind that he also writes with a Japanese audience in mind, a young Japanese audience, who have no idea what kind of connotations the word Maruta has. As one Japanese Twitter user phrases it, I'm seriously wondering if he had to apologize. He is a Japanese manga artist. It's okay to draw a story with Japanese standards in mind. About it being good to take care with your translation when you go abroad, I can't help but feel worried that from this incident on, you'll come under fire and have to issue apologies to people all over again. I support you, don't give up. Indeed, we are in a weird time where the internet and specifically Twitter have crafted this environment where you literally need to take into consideration the feelings of everyone everywhere, which is impossible, or you're just sure to face backlash on something that you do, on things that wouldn't even raise an eyebrow in their intended context. And since this environment extends across countries and across languages, 
This is absolutely bound to happen, and these situations are going to emerge even when there's no ill intent to begin with. So while great fiction being confined to its local market is becoming a thing of the past, and that is very exciting in many ways, it is also a little bit scary and dangerous for creators and creative freedom when they get pounded for things like this. So I have to say that the Maruta character name was absolutely a misstep from a business perspective, but it's certainly not like he was coming after people with malice. And so I think it's pretty wild that people are going after him and the manga to this extent. If we assume that he did intend the reference, it's not like he was trying to glorify past atrocities, more like he was trying to draw a parallel between two terrible things and it just happened to be a little bit too sensitive for a lot of people. But at the end of the day, it is just a comic and it is just a character's name. Not to mention that a statement was issued and a change was made to amend the problem that caused all of this. So I really hope that the fans, and that includes the attention seekers, the supporters, the haters, the people who are legitimately offended by the situation, I just hope they'll move on from this and continue to enjoy what is a very fun and wonderful manga. And despite the current situation and the ban in China, I'm sure that the future of My Hero Academia is still bright. There may even be a chance that it gets back on services in China now that the name has been altered. But if it doesn't, that's not the end of the world. A lot of other really successful anime and manga, such as Attack on Titan and Death Note, they're banned in China and they're doing just fine. But all we can do is wait and see what do you think about this issue.